seconds. Did you see that? I'll play it again. That was approximately this many attoseconds. And the research into that helped three scientists win the Nobel Prize. Attosecond is if you took a billionth of a second and then a billionth of that. So a billionth of a billionth of a second. Think about how many seconds there have been since the universe began. There are about that many attoseconds in just one normal second. That's how small of a time scale we're talking about. And these three scientists figured out a way to get pulses of light down to the attosecond level with the record previously being a pulse that was 43 out of seconds long. And it's a big deal because those little pulses of light let scientists capture images of electrons as they spin around a nucleus that are more detailed than ever before. It's like if this used to be our understanding of how electrons moved, now it can be this. And once we figure out more about the workings of the electron and how its power shifts, we can start to implement changes at that level of time. Right now, the way we monitor how our electronics work is on the nanosecond level. If we can switch to attoseconds, scientists say it could be possible for microprocessors, aka the brain of a computer, to process information a billion times faster than it does now.